We'll show you the highlights and later you can explore it by your own walking, okay? It, but just for you to know, it's a tiny area. On the island, which is actually a historical center, maybe you can find less than 500 people living, okay? There is not much people living over there, okay? Look at the name on that brown sign behind that boy. You can read Grad Trogi. The first word means town in the Croatian language or a city, okay? Trogi, that's the name. The name is interesting, it comes from the Greeks. It was a Greek colony, Traguriu, okay? It could travel from today in the past, almost 2,400 years before, the Greek commercials, they arrived here in Adriatic, they established a couple of colonies. One of them, it was this one, and they call it Traguriu. The meaning of that word in the old Greek language was something similar like area with goats. Goat town, goat hill. When they arrived here, probably they found a lot of local population, a lot of shepherds, with animals, with goats. And they just simply call it goat town. Hard to find any goat now. Trust me, there is no goats here, maybe no farms around. But still the name remains over there. Nagurium. Okay, that's the origin of the name. Where do you come from? Sweden. The capital is Stockholm, right? Yeah. What's the meaning of that? Well, I'm asking you this question because every city in the world, every village, every town must have a reason for a name. Normally, there is a reason. Okay? I just explain you the name of my town. Okay? Well, we will cross the bridge. I'm going to explain you some couple of things. Our plan, actually, on that map, and later we will go inside. If you have any questions for me, if you look something interesting inside, and I don't mention that, don't be afraid to ask. Okay? I will give you the answer. Supposing that we know everything, I mean, guys, if I know the answer, I will give it to you. If I don't know the answer, natural process of the earth, but I believe we are guilty also. Good. Croatia, no, we don't have industry, but many different powerful countries. Probably they do. Okay. Uh, we crossed the bridge. Technically, we are on the island. As I told you, it's a small, tiny island. 90,000 square meters approximately. Okay? It is a small island, but maybe for you it's difficult now to imagine how big is this or how small is this. Let me explain you better version. If you start to walk from this point, following the coast, making a circle around, walking normally in just five, six minutes, you will end up here again. Oh, you make a circle around, okay? It's tiny, but beautiful inside. Look at the map of the island. That's our ubication. We are on the red point. We are not there. Ignore this. This was made by a young designer. He was probably drunk when he was doing this, okay? This is a new bridge, 150 meters from here. Definitely we are over here, okay? And we will follow this line. It's a crossing street from the north to side, right over there. And around the noble area, around the main square, I will explain you most of the things. Everything was built originally over there. Uh, St. Lawrence Cathedral, Rector's Palace, City Lodge, couple of palaces apart, old cemetery, everything was around Noble Square. Okay? Later, we will walk down to the promenade. In opposite side of the island, there is a beautiful promenade. I will explain you a couple of things more walking. And on the end, you will see the fragments of the Camerlengo Fort. On the end of the island, there is a huge fortification, okay? That's basically the plan. Look from here. You can see the walls, right? The fragment of the walls of the old citadel, with, of course, northern entrance, unique entrance, okay? It was unique. More than eight centuries before, that canal behind you over there was wider. It was a natural sea canal. This island was separated, no? It was connected with the long wood bridge and on the draw bridge over there. Perfect protected citadel, okay? Protected with the sea, protected with the walls, connected with unique entrance. It was actually hard to penetrate inside if they don't allow it, okay? I understood that you've been already in the Brony. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the walls. Yeah. Magnificent walls of the Dubrovnik Republic. Well, the difference between Trogir and Dubrovnik they preserve the walls. Here, we destroy them. Okay? We don't have walls anymore. Just that fragment over there. Oh, yeah. That happened during the beginning of the 19th century. Okay? 
population of this town, they actually haven't feel threats. It was peaceful period. They reused the stones from the walls. They just rebuilt the houses. Look at them. Following the same shape of the citadel. Okay? It was easier to live in houses like those than inside of the walls. Okay? That's why they disappeared. Okay? We are destroyers here in this town. You will hear that later. About the entrance, like in many Croatian cities, not John the Baptist, but Van Orsini, local patron of this area. He was actually bishop. Okay? Are you religious? Yes. I heard four yes, a couple of no's, some mm's, and silence, like the group you are not. Okay? I normally understand silence like no. Okay? Lucky you. If you ask Croatians, more than 80% of them, they will respond to you that they are Roman Catholics, okay? But practicants, I'm not sure about that, okay? It's hard to get young people in a church, like in many countries in the world. That's happening here also in Croatia. Okay, let's start the walk. Follow me. Okay. Everything is built here, okay? We have behind me, in front of me, you can, track, you can see the fragments of the great Chimico Palace, and right over there, the small Chimico Palace. Of this western part of the square. This family actually, they used to live here almost, almost five centuries, but they are not here anymore. I, they are not. I will explain you why, okay? But they used to live here. Right over there, you can see the same sign of the cathedral, St. Lawrence, and over there on the eastern side of the square, that was Ellis, okay? And later, after that I explain you this part, we will climb up in this room, open room, watch. Many Mediterranean people now they used to have rooms like this. It looks like a stage, a little bit elevated, but also it's actually a reserved area for the Roman. Later about that. Let's come back to this, those that have the children. If you just pay attention a little bit on the surgery, it sounds a little bit Italian, right? Children are still at the speech. To be more specific, they were initial. Venice was here. This was part of the Venetian Empire. If you just pay attention around you, it could remind you of Venice, okay? Architectural style. But as I told you before, they are not here anymore, okay? We liberate the area. Again, on the beginnings, on the end of the 18th century, we throw them out, okay? This is Croatia, region of Dalmatia, not Italy, okay? Maybe if you ask some Italians, they still believe that this part of the world belongs to them. They called us Little Italy. Okay? They believe they have a political, radical political party. They believe they're going to bring back this area to Italy. That's not going to happen. How about gondolas? Gondolas. Gondolas? No. Not, actually, there is one just here. No, but, but no, this is not Italy. This is not Venice. It used to be, but not anymore. Probably in Dubrovnik, they explained a completely different story. They were never occupied by no one. Public, powerful Republic, the Republic of the Rome. They used to pay the liberty with gold, with money. Here, completely different. Okay? Venice was here also. Good. Today, uh, finally, we are calling the, those buildings palaces. They don't look like a palace, actually. We have a music school, we have apartments, shops, a gallery, museum. No, but technically, they are still the palace. Cathedral, interesting. St. Lawrence Cathedral, and we have a local protector, Petron Ivan. Okay, inside of the cathedral, on the left wing, there is a beautiful chapel. Oh, many things are in the world, it's just gorgeous. You can't really see them, but they are gorgeous. There is a chapel of St. Ivan. That's the reason why maybe the locals sometimes they are called the cathedral of St. Ivan. 